Greetings all. Today we're going to replace the lid switch on this Whirlpool washing machine and what happens when the switch starts going bad is when you raise the the lid there's a lever that goes down under here that hits a switch it's a safety feature and what happens is that switch gets bad and when you close the lid the lever doesn't hit the switch which is right under here right over here somewhere and so as the machine is washing it'll vibrate or anyway the lid will move a little bit and it won't activate that switch so we're going to replace the switch and hopefully that will fix the problem be sure to unplug it before you start messing with anything don't want to okay here's the back of mine and this piece here appears to be one solid piece going all the way to the floor I mean all the way to the bottom of it so I'm guessing we're going to have to undo that one and that one and then there are some screws there and there so I'm going to undo those and then we'll see what we got to have to do next okay I undid the four um, there and then the screw there then a screw there or a little machine screw and then the Phillips head there and then I just pushed out on this away from this panel and it opened up and there is our switch that we need to work. okay there's the switch here is the new one um, got it off of Amazon 10 bucks so let's undo this knock you over okay wires undone ground and that's a different size so I'm gonna put you on pause and okay I'll be right back um, this one is an eight millimeter so have one ready that just unscrews get that out of the way and then there's a lever right here that's supposed to pop up oh and you have to open your lid for this to work so I have got junk all over mine so let me move that out of the way and then see if we can pull it out okay the lids open now let's see yes comes right out and look at this make sure I know how I'm just gonna leave it right there till I get the other one open make sure okay here's the new one so it goes in like that that snaps in close the hang on let me set you down I'm gonna need both hands to do this Okay, so let me get my screwdriver and my driver. Put the ground wire back up. Get it tight, but don't strip it out. And then plug it in. Okay. And I'm going to clean that up. And also, when you do this, you may want to get your shop back. Um, Actually, I painted this room last year, but we had all kind of crap under the wash machine, so I need to clean all that up. So, um, but this just slides back into place. 
and then put your bolts on just reverse everything we've done but I'm gonna clean all this up and put it back together Show you this take care you see those little feet they go in those holes so you just put them in and then push it forward you do that on both sides it's really easy but that's how you put the top back on and then you just add, put back your four fasteners and you're done okay one last thing I want to show you is I've, I've got you know this put back but this lip goes on the inside of this so you have to kind of pick this up set it down so that it covers this top lip is behind it and then push it forward and down into those slots that I showed you um, anyway I, I did it wrong the first time so I thought I would share with you a mistake that I made I mean it's no big deal you just undo the screws and you know redo it but um, may save you a step but make sure that the, the tin part this plastic covers the top of the tin part and then put it down into those slots